This video demonstrates how to create user scenes and user schedules utilizing the new Savant app. If your Savant system is not running 7.0 or greater software, which would have been released around the end of 2014, uh, this app will not work. You need to call your programmer to have them update your system and there will be a fee for that. Once you have the Savant app open, you're going to go to your menu on the left, which you can either do by selecting the menu button, or you can also do by swiping to the right, select my scene, new scene. Here you can capture the existing settings, which if you've got a bunch of things turned on and those happen to be all the things that you want to use in a particular scene that you're creating, you can capture them and then quickly go in and modify them as needed. Or you can create it from scratch, which is what we're going to do. In this, we're just going to do lighting. And we're going to make this a patio scene that turns on at a particular time of day. So we'll do patio down lights and patio rope lights. Um, if your lighting is dimmable, you can set the dim levels by adjusting those ramps as you see fit. Uh, note that just because you see those ramps there does not necessarily mean your lights are dimmable. Um, so press add. And if you wanted to add more lights to this scene, you can do so by scrolling and going through the same process. Once there, you select Add again. And here, if you decide you don't want to save this scene, you can hit Cancel. Uh, if you want to add more things to this scene, which you may want to do later on, you can hit Add again and add to that scene. Uh, in this case, this is all we want to do. We're going to select Save. And then we can give it a name, Patio Lights on and you can select from your own images you can take a picture with your camera or you can use the savant furnished images we'll grab one here use that save and from here you could be done or in this case we want these lights to turn on at a particular time of day so we'll hit schedule scene and here you can select it to come to happen either at a specific time of day or celestial time, so sun up, sun down, uh, you know, something like that. Or you could also do a countdown timer. So like, you know, you might create a scene for watching TV in bed at 11 o'clock at night. And when you hit that scene, it turns everything on, runs it for a period of time, and then turns the TV off at midnight let's say, because there's a good chance you fell asleep watching TV. Uh, we're going to do this uh, relative to celestial time. And we want the lights outdoors to turn on at sunset. And then if you want to say those lights to turn on 15 minutes before sunset, you could then go in and put in a time of how long you want them to come on before. So we'll just say, I don't know, five minutes. And once you're done, you can hide that. And then the next is, do you want this to happen all year round, every day? If you select no, then you're going to say, okay, we want this to start, you know, let's say this is my back patio and I live someplace that gets winter weather. I don't really care about my lights turning on during the winter, so I'm going to say it starts April, I don't know, 15th, and then ends September 30th, and during those days it happens every day. Or you could go in and you could say, okay, well, I'm never, I'm not going to ever use my backyard area on Mondays and Tuesdays. 
Otherwise, there's a good chance that I'll use it, so I want those lights to turn on. And then I can hit that to conceal it again. Here, you can either remove the schedule if you're unhappy with it and you don't want it to be scheduled, or you can just hit done and we're done. That's pretty much it. Um, adding a fade time. You know, this is um, this is something that might happen. Again, your lights have to be dimmable, or in the case of using volume, it has to be some sort of a smart volume control. Your programmer would be able to tell you more about that. This is useful in particular to use as a wake-up mode in the morning. So you can do like an, a natural alarm clock type of scenario where, say, you want you want your lights to fade up and your blinds to open up and your music to turn up in volume over a 10 minute period. That would be a fade time. In this case, we don't care about the fade time, so we're gonna remove it. We're done scheduling. We're going to hit save. And now we've created our new scene. And then this little icon here that is the schedule icon. So if you tap that icon and it's in that off position, the schedule is not going to run. So it's not like you have to go in and delete your schedule if you don't want it to run, like if you're on vacation or something. Uh, we're going to turn it on. And then because we want to use the same scene to create a new scene to turn the lights off at say midnight we're going to initially we're going to hit this which is going to now turn that scene on we're going to create a new scene we're going to capture those settings on the patio real quick hey that's what we want to do we just want to turn the lights off so we'll hit done Save scene, patio, off, schedule it at 12 a.m. every day. And we want it to happen every day, even if it's after our scheduled time. That way, if we forget and leave the lights on, if we were out there in December, we leave the lights on, it's still going to turn them off. We'll add our photo. Boom. Boom, save. We don't care about a fade time. Save the scene. Now we have our patio off. And boom, the schedule's now running. And that is how you do scene creation as well as scheduling the scene.